Hello. Hello, 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 friends. Hi, friends. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. And I... Literally, y'all, the lighting was literally just fine until, okay, I guess that'll work. Um, but okay, if you guys are watching this, then that means I successfully went through with this idea, this plan that I had. I literally got it last night, and I went on my Instagram close friends and was like, is this something I should do? And I got all yeses. So this is going to be called, I was going between re reading archives and reading diaries, and we agreed on reading diaries. So basically what this is gonna be is just all those random moments or like just like my normal like day-to-day -day reading that's not for videos. Um, so there really is no structure to this. <laughs> like you guys may see me start a book and then you may not see me like actually finish it because it's just like, you know, you know, I'll probably do like weekends or so. Like whenever just like those moments like when I'm just like when I get off work and you know I read for like two to three hours like you know just like filling you guys in on that because I feel like whenever I do like these reading wrap-ups you guys see like I'm reading 10 12 13 books but then it's like if you look at my monthly content it's like you only are seeing like one or two reading vlogs like and it may cover maybe five books max if I throw in like a 24 hour vlog or something so I was just like, you know, I I want you guys to see more. And like, if you guys know, if you guys have watched my channel, I love talking about books. I literally can like talk about my reactions to books all day long. And I was like, this is the perfect forum for that. Like, why not just set up a camera and talk about whatever book I'm reading? And so, like I said, this is gonna be very, very, very informal. So if you guys see me on here with my scarf on at night, like, just know like I was just like okay I just gotta talk about this book that I'm reading so I hope you know this is something that you guys will like um I don't really have a cadence on how I'm gonna upload these videos or you know when it's literally just you know I guess you can kind of consider it like a weekly reading vlog essentially like that's kind of what it would be but like I said I don't know if I'll do we'll see how this one goes and see if I like want to do like depending on the length of it if like a week will be too much or if like a weekend is not enough so now that I got that out the way I just had to tell you guys what's going on but today is September 1st and I was like oh we about to start a new TBR so yes I am currently reading powerless and I started it last night but I had to stop and because power power powerless but power on stars um the the show force within that series um released last night so like this whole week I had been like binging the first season and so now I watched season two episode one um last night so that was like priority for me I was like I, I reading is not important right now I need to I need to see what's gonna happen on force um and it was so good so so worth it um uh, but yeah now we are here it's Friday it's actually Labor Day weekend and guys I have the entire next week off um so I am like so ready like I don't go back to work <laughs> for like 10 days so I am about to enjoy this time off um, I'm going to see family at the end of the week so yeah end of next week so I have a few days to just kind of chill and just like really kind of focus on content and things like that so I am filming a reading vlog on um over the weekday over the week to post um but I'm also gonna do this so the books that I'm not reading for that you guys will see like other books that I'm reading so like I said I'm reading powerless right now and I'm about to go ahead and read a little bit more probably try to read like I'm at chapter four so maybe if I can get to like chapter 10 before I um start getting ready for bed because I'm tired I've been up since I just I just randomly woke up at like 6 30 this morning and like could not go back to sleep so 
I am really tired and I haven't really drank any coffee today. I like started, I had a caramel macchiato and I started drinking it, but then my stomach started hurting and I was like, mm, I need to put the coffee down. So yeah, here we are. Um, I do want to show you guys though, like a little sneak peek because I am going to post my book tour soon, but I like over the month of August, well, pretty much July and August, I like focused on getting all of my book carts clear and like actually getting shelves put up and y'all i think i'm very happy with it right now i'll show you guys like my two main setups just because like if i go through everything like i'll just show you guys what it looks like and i finally like actually have a tbr cart like what so when i started this you guys i think i had like eight or nine carts throughout my apartment and so i am now down to two carts and one cart is just like it has like more of like my christian books on there my bible and stuff like that but then i actually do have like a true tbr cart now and i'm just like oh my gosh like i have like the current series like i have the addicted series that i want to start on there and then i have um my what's dark verse series and then the jennifer lynn barnes the natural series i think is what it's called but like it's so nice to be able to like see like okay these are like the series you are actively reading that you want to continue like at least like immediately so you know there's other series that i've started but like at least like the ones that i'm like actively trying to focus on i they're like in one spot now and then also just the books that i want to read this month so it feels good i need to go on etsy and find like um like a tbr cart sticker because i saw it at one point but i was like i don't really have enough i don't have a cart to operate as that but now that i do i wanted to get that want to do that so i'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek and then we're gonna start reading powerless and yeah i'm gonna read for a few hours and then you know we're gonna wrap this thing up and get ready for bed because i'm gonna be a grandma tonight i mean that's to me every friday night so it's not nothing new but now you guys are you seeing it firsthand so okay. also i'm using a different camera for this like little series thing that i'm doing so hopefully it's not too bad but yes yeah, so this is like i posted this one on my bookstagram account but this is what you guys typically see like in my video so it's still like fantasy some dark romance and then i have like my hard covers that like i only have by one author and then this entire like these six cubes are color coordinated by books that I only have of by one author. So to what so essentially what was on that book cart that book cart tour that I did like two, three weeks ago, like all of that transferred to these shelves here. Um and then I just have like my little tree thing. So I have my um my twisted series <laughs> my twisted series which i'm actually planning to read twisted hate this month so it's actually on my tbr cart and then i just have my parker s huntington books and then have the new covers of throne of glass but yeah that is this one um and yeah we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys the other one the other main one and then we'll get to reading okay guys you guys have never seen this part because i never show this because like where the lighting is like my camera sits in front of it if I film in this room but yeah so this is like mainly like all of my like romance so I have like a long wall and eventually I'll probably extend it and get it on that wall as well but this is what we have so far and like I said this is like mainly my romance so um yeah <laughs> we have and you guys hear the tv I have Victoria's playing in the background but yeah so I have like all my Elsie Silver my Tessa Tessa Bailey and some Mia Sheridan and then we have some Colleen Hoover, Lucy Score, Taylor Jenkins Reid and then I have a few down here so Mariana Zapata, Christina Lauren. I have a uh, the Good Girl the what is this series called? A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I have that series there randomly. I just have never moved it. It's been there since I first got it. Like this is my very first shelf that I got and I just like always have kept it right there so I know where it's at. And then on this big shelf, I just have more romance. So like Monica Murphy, um, we have Lauren Asher, some Devney Perry, Sophie Lark, Megan Brandy. Of course, we have Jessa Hastings. You guys know I am like living for that series right now. Some Kay Tucker. And then I just have a, a few more like small town romances and stuff that I got down here. This stack, I just could not fit them any other way. So like it's my Catherine Cow stack. Um, but yeah. Eventually, like I said, I will do a really big, I just have a basket here because this is, I had 
laundry here first. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Then I have like my Kennedy Ryan little display here. So yeah, luckily, hopefully, I said luckily, hopefully, like I said, I'll get this tour up. But this, because this is what you guys have not seen in detail yet. But if you're watching this, you just got a little sneak peek. So, <laughs> okay. So now that I did that, it's time to read. Um, so right now, like I said, I'm reading Powerless. I'm actually going to read it on my Kindle right now because I don't know y'all. I like have just been really like enjoying like reading on my Kindle right now. So that's what we're about to do. And I do know I need to edit, but I probably gonna, I'm probably going to edit tomorrow, uh, which is my, what is that? It is my reading wrap up, my August reading wrap up. So probably going to edit that tomorrow so I can get that up on Sunday and then we'll see where this video goes. But yeah, I'm just going to knock out Powerless and I'll give you guys some updates and see how I get up far, how far I get tonight. So. I'm eating Popeyes right now and if you guys have, are if you guys are on TikTok there's this one guy Dre and he eats a Popeyes biscuit like whole and I'm like could I do that and I don't think I could like <laughs> uh 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 <laughs> first of all I think I would choke from the dryness of like trying to eat a Popeye's biscuit whole. That's just insane. <laughs> but I'm currently, I think I'm on chapter five. Mm-hmm, I'm on chapter five. And y'all, where is Bo? I'm just like, I'm so scared. I mean, it's like, I know he's okay. Because obviously, like, Hopeless is his story. So, we, like, we know he's okay. But I'm just like, ah. Like, why did I do this? Why did I do this to us? But, I'm about to keep reading. Mm -mm, my chicken. I got my chicken tenders. <laughs> Can you see it? Wait, I need to focus. Oh my gosh, why won't this focus? Guys, I'm about to lose my mind if this don't focus. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see this? Jasper! Hi guys. It is the next day. It is Saturday and y'all, I have not done anything. I, I was say, what was that? That was my air freshener. Um, okay, but I am currently, as you can see, laying down. Um, but I got some book mail today, and I'm finally about to start reading for the day. So I want to show you guys what I got. First things first, I got the 
alternative cover for love in other words um so if you guys follow me on instagram and hold on my hair guys it's just like for me laying down it's just not okay now um but yes i what was i saying oh yeah so i um it's on like my september romance tbr and i am like really 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 like determined to read that one um because i put it off for way too long um and so i just feel like i just know i'm gonna like it and i really wanted the yellow cover but i cannot find it anywhere anymore um so i was like oh well i'll get that cover so black whales came through and then the other one i got today which i'm about to read now oh y'all my cup almost fell um but if you guys watched my fall yes my fall like book recommendations then you guys know what book i kept talking about but y'all ah! uh, y'all i just ordered an etsy bookmark just because i know i'm gonna do a reread of this like during the fall season um and i'm really trying my best <laughs> not to order like a sweater um i actually like one of the book companies that i love i mean one of the like bookish merch companies that i love i like dm'd her and i was like are you gonna have like merch for this book soon so she doesn't have it right now but she does she is gonna have it soon um and so i did see another book uh bookish merch company that i love as well um that i've ordered from before and she does have two options um and so i'm like i may get those right now because y'all i may get one of those i don't know which one so that's why I haven't put the order in yet because I'm like, I need to know which one I want to get. Um, because y'all, I love this world. And I know when I re do a reread, I'm going to film it and I like want my merch. Like, I'm going to have the bookmark and I really want to have the sweater too or the crew neck because y'all know. Fall time, I think just readers in general, like crew necks are like our go-to. Like, I don't know. I love a good hoodie, but a crew neck, y'all, a crew neck hit different and I don't know why. <laughs> um but yes so i got the new copy and it has the wait no not that the s well yes it has the sticker which indicates that it's the bonus material so i'm about to read the bonus material and i'm gonna tell you guys what i think about it and yes i just miss this world so much like i love the lancaster world and so there is a new release coming out i think it's october i think and I cannot wait for it. So let's read this one. <laughs> also, I have my Taylor Swift uh, for fall like music playlist. So I'm going to play that. And yeah, let's, we're going to start this. <laughs> loving this y'all um so it picks up if you've read a million kisses in your lifetime so you know the epilogue is like around is christmas year for them like two years later but this here like this bonus content is from like their senior year of school because if you remember like the where the book actually ended it just ended like around christmas time um their senior year and so they still had like another semester of school if i remember correctly so that's where this one picks up and then you have so it's kind of like the book and then this bonus content and then the epilogue and then after the epilogue you have the christmas little short story that came out because that one's like way far into the future but y'all 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta keep reading. I just have to say that because like you can get confused if you like think this picks up right after the epilogue, but the epilogue goes like two years forward. So this is just like where the book like this is like the normal timeline of the book and then yeah. So <laughs> let's keep reading. Monica Murphy does it but she just knows how to make me squeal over a book so I just finished like Ren's POV like I was gonna say POV it sounds so weird saying that in person um well like saying it like actually but I just finished Ren's point of view so now I'm about to start Cruz's point of view and y'all this thing just has me blushing like literally her point of view is just like this and then this and y'all i was already like freaking cheesing so i'm about to do uh, i'm about to read crew's part and see where we go from there <laughs> told you guys this is like like this is all spoilers like this is what this vlog is gonna be like all spoilers so I can actually talk about it like as I'm going so this book ended like obviously he bought her like 400 shades of Chanel lipstick so she can make her own version of a million the of the portrait of million kisses in your lifetime for a crew and for Valentine's Day she just gave him like she finally made it and she just gave it to him and y'all oh my gosh Y'all, she did her thing with this book. Like, oh my freaking goodness. I need more. I need more. 
Y'all, she's gonna get tired of us We're constantly requesting, but like, I just think we need a million kisses in your lifetime, like part two. Like, it's just, I, it, I, I want this book to consume me. Like, why do I love this world so much? And then like, Crew and Ren just like, take the cake for me. Like, I love the other ones, but y'all, Crew and Ren, like, they were the first ones I read about. Like, they were the first book in, like, the Lancaster series that I were, that I read. Um, and I fell in love with them. And so then I actually was able to, I got, I was so lucky to get an arc of I'll Always Be With You. And I love that one just as much. And now, I, I think it's I Thought I Was Your Favorite that comes out. Um... I don't know which Lancaster that's going to be because obviously like they're not brothers or anything. It's like, cause the last one was like one of the, it was the girl. It was a girl. Um, so they like cover, like they're all like, they're just all related. Like their last names are Lancasters. Um, so it's not like siblings. They're like cousins, you know, some are brothers. Um, and so, yeah, but y'all, I freaking love this world. I love this world. So freaking much i like after reading that i think i'm just gonna go ahead and buy like the lancaster prep like sweater like crew neck at first there's two let me show you guys there's two different ones there's a oh my gosh y'all time is flying by um okay um let me show you guys and it's by there from threaded by sabrina on etsy and i have bought so many things from her already you guys but at this point, I don't even shop for real clothes no more. Like, I I seriously just shop for bookish merch. Like, that's that's literally what I shop for. Um, okay, let me let me find it. It's in my favorites. Okay, so this is the first one, and I have sixteen percent. But this is the first one, and it's now you owe me. 2 million kisses so that was the one that I wanted at first but now guys I don't know should I get the Lancaster prep one and so that one that's this one here so and these are the two next to each other so I'm like which one do I want like I feel like I would rep I think like the Lancaster prep one I'm like it kind of gears towards like the entire series and i love the entire series as a whole but then like the million kids of your lifetime is just like you know it's like for this book so i don't know guys this is like my thought process of like when i'm trying to figure out what which one i want so let me know which one you guys think i should get should i get the the lancaster prep or the you now you owe me two million kisses um because i am pretty confident i am getting one of them like the amount like when i tell you guys the amount of bookish hoodies crew necks that I have purchased over like the last two months. It was like once I caved and bought that first one, which was the one that I think I wore in a video, but it's the one that says just one more chapter. Y'all, once I bought that one, it was just like, that's like, I'm either buying books or I'm buying book merch or bookmarks. Like I, that's all I wear. Like I, I don't <laughs> wear real, like I rarely wear real clothes. Like I literally only wear real clothes. Like when I'm going to church on Sunday, and y'all, I'm like still like super cozy. Like when I do that, I believe it's already almost eight o'clock. Like I, I rewatched the episode, the F new Force episode, and we're not gonna talk about it. That's my third time rewatching it. Well, technically, the second time I watched it, I was building my last bookshelf um, that I showed you guys. So I, it was like multitasking, but I actually just sat and like rewatched the whole thing, and. Y'all, it just still is so much. Like, I love that show so much. And I cannot wait till Thursday at 11 p.m. I will be watching episode two when it comes out. But, yeah, so I am... Oh, I don't... I, I'm not about to read just yet. But I'm not, like, ready to get ready for bed. I'm probably just about to scroll on TikTok for a minute. Give myself just a little bit of time. And then, um, probably, like, around 8.30, I'll plan. I need to vacuum. Um... I'm gonna vacuum and then, cause I've like un, I've like unpacked packages, so I need to like break the boxes down and stuff, um, and get all that cleaned up, and so then I can sit and read. Which I'm gonna continue flawless. Um, I mean not flawless. I'm gonna continue powerless, and then I don't know why. I know during the week when I do my book challenge, my goal is to do Daisy hates. Um. If I can read three books, so I'm doing like the three, I'm doing like the 24 hour reading challenge. So 
I think I want to go for Daisy Hates. Definitely Things We Leave Behind. I think that's the third book in um, the Knock Em Out series because that comes out this week and I've already pre-ordered it for it to be delivered on delivery on like release day. So I think I'm going to do Daisy Hates, Things We Left Behind, and then I may do Love In Other Words. I know I want to do all romance books for that one. I can do Love In Other Words or I can do The Seven Year Slip. So I may do like an Instagram poll and see which one wins about which one. Because I don't want to do Twisted Hate. I want to do, I think I just want to read Twisted Hate. Like do like put it on like in this kind of content. Um, because I filmed Twisted Games as a reading vlog. And so I think I just kind of want to read that one just like on my own. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to choose between Love In Other Words and... The seven year slip and i have an urge to really start the addicted series i did say i was going to start it this fall um so i really like want a comfort series and i think i want to start that series so like i said tonight i'm going to focus on powerless and then maybe during the week when i'm not reading for the 24 hour challenge maybe i'll start the addicted series and i'll vlog that like here for my reading diaries let me know i may do that I think I'm gonna do that. I think I really want to start the Addicted series. But like I said, my main ones though, I really need to read Daisy Hates and then Things We Left Behind are like my top two reads. Like my top two books that I know I want to read. Um, so yeah. But I'll see you guys in shortly and we'll continue powerless. Oh my gosh. Y'all, my camera just fell. <laughs> Hi. So it is a little bit later, y'all. And the last thing I think I think y'all saw me read. <sighs> you guys saw me read the bonus content of um, A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. So, I have not read anything since. Like, not a word. I have not read anything. Um, but, I did vacuum and all of that. So now I think I'm going to try to read like a chapter or two of flow. I mean, of... <sighs> y'all can y'all tell I'm so tired. I think I'm going to try to read like a chapter or two of powerless. I'm 20% in, um, but I'm not even at like a hundred pages. I'm on chapter eight. And according to like my Kindle, I am on page 82 and there are, uh, how many pages are in this book? Um, y'all, I never really look at the pages. Oh my goodness, bro. Um, wait, I'm trying to find how many pages are in this freaking book. How do I... Oh, maybe I need to go about this book. Okay, there's 396 pages, so... Y'all, I may just try to get to 96 pages tonight. Because, like I said, I am at 82 pages, so... Um, it says chapter eight has like, according to my thing, it has 12 minutes in there. So I think I'm going to try to read that. It's already 10 or 7 PM. So I'm going to, then I'm going to shower and, oh my goodness, I'm going to shower and I will see how I feel after that. I may read some more in bed, but guys, I think once I hit the bed, I may just like immediately fall asleep. I think that's what's going to happen. Um. But if I do that, I think I'm going to end the video here tonight. So like this first like reading diaries is going to be like super short. But then the next one is going to be like of a span of like the full week. So ideally like they're going to cover like each one. Like ideally I would like to post one every week and it'll be like my reading diaries for like the week beforehand. So like anything I read outside of like my already like scheduled reading content. So... Yes, so since technically tomorrow is a new day, 
um, and usually Sundays are like a big editing day for me. I won't be really doing much reading anyway um, because I'll be editing a lot. But yeah, I'll start like reading diaries number two. I'll start that on Monday. So then hopefully you guys will get that like the week after Labor Day week. So I think that like starts, I don't, I think that's like the week of the 10th. So hopefully you guys will get Labor Day week's reading diaries the week of the 10th um like probably the 12th because i'm probably going to edit it on the 10th since that's a sunday um but yeah i'm going to go ahead and try to read chapter eight and then depending on how i feel i may read some more in bed um but when i do start the next video oh my goodness oh but when i do start the next video i'll still be reading powerless so you guys will still get to see like me finish that book essentially um but yeah let's read this chapter i'm like i'm constantly like procrastinating because i'm so tired but i know like once i start reading it like i'm gonna want to keep reading it like that it does that happen to anyone else like sometimes it's just like getting to the point of like starting it like but then once you start it it just like flows and that's kind of how i am right now like i'm so tired where like i like struggling to start it but i know once i start it, like i'm not gonna be able to put it down but I'm like, I just want to get this one chapter done. And then, like, that way I can, like, have, like, an even number of pages. So, like, I can have, like, simply, like, hopefully 300 pages. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to read this book. So I actually ended up reading two chapters. So I'm at chapter 10 now um, and I'm at 25%. Guys, those two chapters were so good. Um, I just love, oh my gosh, I love how Elsie Silver is like writing Jasper. It's so different from Rhett and Kate's books um, because like Jasper is just like, 
he is so heartfelt. Like he, like he is not afraid to feel his emotions, even though he doesn't show it to everyone. Like in the dark, like he actually feels those emotions. Um, and I think that's so different from like when you see other men in books, like they just try to like avoid it. And like in a way he's like trying to avoid it, but like he's just so honest with himself about why he's feeling what he's feeling. And I love that. Like, I think he's just is very aware of his feelings. Um, even though like they may suck at the time with everything that's going on, but I do love that. And then I love that like now, like I hit the part where like, him and like he's kind of like listening to like the voice in his head when it comes to Sloane and I love that like he is like taking action now because I mean we're 25% into the book I know we're probably the, the I know it's probably not gonna get like they're probably not gonna have their moment into like 50% if I'm being honest I just feel like you know it's gonna take a minute right now they're just gonna be teetering around the edge of like telling their feelings but I feel like once we get halfway, I think the feelings, like, their feelings are definitely mutual. But I feel like maybe halfway is, like, when they're going to truly acknowledge that their feelings are mutual. I think that's when it's going to happen. Like, I think right now, it's still just going to kind of teeter around the edge. And, like, it's going to be, like, kind of like, okay, yeah, we're just best friends. So, like, of course, like, I'm going to comfort him or he's going to comfort me, like, while we're both going through these big life changes. Um... So yeah, hopefully by 50%, you know, we are like, they have like admitted their feelings to each other and we can possibly see where that goes. Um, also, I'm really hoping they find Bo. <laughs> like, obviously I know he's okay because like I know Hopeless is going to come out, which is crazy because now like if you read, like I can see as like someone who was like reading the books as they came out, like I can see like the panic but it's like, and I'm still panicking because I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening to him? But like, in a sense, like, I know he's okay because like, I know he has a book coming out. So like, I feel so bad for the people who had to read Powerless when like, there was, unless like, I don't know if like, you know, they saw what happened to him in Powerless. But if they did not, I feel so bad for people who had to go into Reckless and like, didn't know what was the status of Bo. But now, like I said, I know because, like, he has a book coming out. So, obviously, he's, like, alive and well. But, because, like, like, the second or third chapter, like, we find out that he's, like, missing from his, like, mission. He's, like, in, he's in the military. Um, but, like, he never can tell his family, like, where he's going. Um, so, his dad, Harvey, went to go pick him up one day. Like, went to go pick him up from, like, one of his missions that was supposed to end. And Bo wasn't there. Um, so right now he's like missing. So they, they're, you know, they don't know what's going on, but we know he's just missing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shower and I'm kind of hungry. So I'm going to eat a little snack and then I think I am going to probably try to read some more in bed. So if I do, I'll update you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely give you, I'll probably give you guys an update in the morning before I like close out this like vlog slash reading diaries is probably what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna read the rest of the night um and then I'll up you guys update you guys in the morning and we'll get we'll go ahead and wrap up this video uh but yeah I love you guys and I mean if you're watching this at night I hope you have a good night too but I will talk to you guys in the morning bye <laughs>day so it's sunday um but it is a lot later it is 9 54 p.m and the only reading i've done today was what you guys saw like when i was at starbucks today i've been editing majority of the day um but i did get to i think i'm at like 54 percent and just like i said what happened they have finally had their moment. They have admitted their feelings. And it's not like all like peaches and sunshine. Like, you know, it's still some, some tension there. But 
exactly what I thought would happen would happen. It was so funny because I was reading in Starbucks and I should have known with LC Silver like it was going to be spicy. Like I don't know why for a second I thought it was going to be all heartfelt. Which I mean it was still but like I just <laughs> I don't know why. So like I was sitting in a Starbucks reading freaking smut and I'm just like oh my gosh like oh my gosh but um yes so i'm gonna read some more tonight but i just wanted to hop on here to close out the video um and then in the next reading diaries um i'll probably put my final thoughts in but i will say that i am loving jasper and sloan i thought that this one would probably be like i thought my favorites would be heartless flawless and then powerless i don't know where reckless is gonna go in that mix yet um because i haven't read reckless but i think now it may be heartless powerless and then flawless i love them all but like i don't know y'all i i think powerless may be over flawless now um i just love jasper i love him and him and sloan is just so freaking cute um so yeah i love you guys and thank you for watching and let me know if you guys want me to continue this series like this little reading diaries thing um and yeah i'll be happy to like i said i love the inf the, i love the informal like aspect of it it's just like you know kind of flow as you go so i love that um and so if you guys want to keep doing that i am happy to do that but yes so i am yeah 54 percent. so hopefully i get to update you guys in the next video the next reading diaries of how this ends but good night i love you guys and thank you for watching bye